Hello guys, I'm Aditya Gupta and I'm the co-founder of XY Security and also the co-developer of Android Framework for Exploitation. So in this video we'll be basically having a walkthrough on how to set up and use Android Framework for Exploitation or you can call it AFE in order to find vulnerabilities in Android applications as well as develop custom exploits for it and integrate them with AFE and so on. So the first thing you need to do is to go to this website developer.android.com and get the SDK right so this step is essential because if you don't have an Android device you need to start up an emulator which will be performing as a virtual Android device onto which you can run all your test cases as well as like install applications and then find vulnerabilities so if you don't have an Android device, there's no need to worry, there's an Android emulator for it. So everything that happens on the device could be performed on the emulator as well. So if you're on Windows, Linux or Mac, there are like uh, different versions of the SDK and you can download the SDK from here and everything will come pre-configured. So just download this SDK and you're ready to go. Right. So once you have this SDK what you need to do is you need to go to github.com slash xysec and download AFE from here right so this is the download link for AFE so once you're on this link click on zip and the download will automatically start right so since I have already started uh, already downloaded this particular zip file uh, won't be downloading it again because it's like around 38 MBs and another thing you need to download is the AFE server so this is kind of optional for you so if you want to make any kind of changes in the Android application you could download this folder as well and you can make the modifications and then run it on the device so I think we are ready to go for now so First thing I'll do is I'll go to my Eclipse and I'll go to this virtual device manager that's this green icon over here, the second green icon and you can create your Android virtual devices over here and select any of the device and then start and the device will automatically launch. So here I have my device running that is Android emulator version 4.0 and I've installed this AFE server to this application so let me just start this application so it asked me to enter the port let's let's say I want to uh, give it a custom port say 9998 uh, So I have my emulator over here and I just select a port, update it and the server is now running. So the next thing I need to do is I'll go to this folder where I have downloaded this AFE master and then unzip this particular zip file. So you'll get a folder similar to this one. So it contains all those directories like bin, exploits, input, internals, modules, output and temp. Right. So suppose in this video, like for this test case, we want to take the example of an application known as Catch Notes, right? So the first thing I need to do is I need to install the application to my device, right? So the first thing you need to do is download the Catch dot APK to your laptop, right? That's the first thing you need to do. If, like if you want to audit an application, you must have the APK file of that application, right? So once you have downloaded, the next thing you need to do is adb install and catch dot apk write. So you can do it from your terminal. So here, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll I have it on my desktop, I think. So I'll do cd desktop ls. Okay, so adb. I'll just make the font a little bit bigger. So adb install. 
cache.apk and it will say that it already exists so it won't install right so install fail cause already exists right but this is the way to install an application onto a device using adb that's android debug bridge right the next thing you need to do is you need to see which port is the application running i mean which port you gave to start the server in this case it's 9998 so you'll you'll have to type in adb forward tcp 9998 and again tcp 9998 enter right that's all you need to do before starting afv right the next thing is go to the afv master folder and then type in dot slash afv.py right so this is the default screen for Android framework for exploitation and once you have launched it you need to connect your device that is connect 127.0.0.1 and give it the port number that is 9998 right so it says connected now if you're connected it will show you a um, asterisk sign before the AFE thing that is here right so this is here so next thing I need to do is I need to find the default content providers in the cache.apk so before doing that let's see what this application is this cache knows application now which kind of application it is what kind of data it is storing and so on so I'm opening cache.apk and it looks like you can save notes over here so let's see uh, I make up a custom note say a fee video demo right and I just save it so right now I have two notes that is a fee video demo and the second note is hello world right so now what you need to do is go to your finder or explorer whatever it is and copy the cache.apk and put it in the input folder of your AV, right? So if you go to your AV master, there would be an input folder and paste the cache.apk in it, right? And then go back to AV. So right now we are in the AV terminal. Now if you want to see all the available options right now at any stage of um, doing exploration, just type in a question mark and then hit enter and it will sh show you the list of all the available options. Right now I'm interested in going to the menu. So I go to menu question mark and then here I have few interesting options like exploit, modules, query and then serve and shell. Right. So the first thing is to find the content providers in cache.dpk so I go to module ah uh, let's run modules okay it's modules right and then I do a question mark and then if I want to see all the available modules I type in list so this is the module I'm interested in right now so I'll type run get content provider enter and it will show me the apk name which is present in the input folder right so here i have cas.apk so here i'll see that particular application name so i just copy paste that application name and hit enter So it will decompile the application using apk tool and it will show me a list of all the available content providers. So now um, if you if you analyze if you're analyzing a notes application by default um, by common analysis you can say that notes will be stored in something called notes, right? So here I have this thing called content column slash slash com dot three banana dot notes dot provider dot notes dot notepad dot notes right so this is the content provider for me so now what I'll do is I'll type an enter enter to continue and then I'll go back 
then type in query so here I have an option of query right so what exactly this command does so I'll type in question mark query and then show me how to use this particular command so here I have example users query get URL and the name of the content provider so I'll do a query so get URL and the content provider name right and I hit enter great so it shows me a list of all the nodes that is the hello world over here and the second thing is AFE video demo so this is all accessible via, via uh, the application which you install in a device right so if an application is able to access the data of another application that is in fact a serious security vulnerability so here we have discovered a serious security vulnerability in the cache notes application now what to do so what I'll do is I'll go to this command name exploit and then I'll list all the available exploits so right now there is one particular exploit that is exp app name dot xml now what you can do is you can go to afe directory and the exploits folder let's just see what an exploit file looks like so here I have this exploit name it contains the author name the date the application name whether the device should be connected or not and so on so let's now write an exploit for the vulnerability which I have just now discovered that is the catch notes application so I right click on this and then I just duplicate it right and I give it a name say catch exploit dot xml right click open with textmate right so here we don't need any kind of input so we just remove this file and here what we can write instead of this is get URL and this thing right Save it. Put my name say Aditya Gupta, and all the source. Remove this thing. Save it. Can even change this. Com dot banana dot notes. Right. I think this is the package name of this application. Now, when I go back to AFE, I type in question mark and then list all the available exploits. It's not there, right? So why it's not there? Because if you go back and if you check over here, it's already running. So if you go back and then exploit and then list. Now we have this particular exploit. So now what you can just do, what anyone could just do, if you have published the exploit, is type in exploit and then the name of the exploit that is catch exploit or XML and then enter. So it's already queries that particular thing um, it automatically executes now you could even post this exploit to our github repo and we'll have a list of all the exploits over here which can be integrated or which has been integrated with AFE or you could just mail your vulnerability um, to my email address that is say, security at the raid xysec.com so if you just provide us a vulnerability and your author details like your name and your website your twitter handle will make an exploit for you and will post it on our github and we'll even make a database we're even planning to make a database which should be like online next week or something so your name your author name and the exploit will be listed over there right so that's a, that's a great thing to do find exploits and find vulnerabilities in different kind of application write custom exploits integrate them with AFE and so and 
last thing you could always post all kind of queries uh, at a github repo like issues there's this uh, issues section over here so you can post issues at, at here or you can even uh, or like connect with us on facebook that is facebook.com slash xysec right so it's facebook.com slash xysec and you can mention whatever like whatever issues you're facing or any any kind of details so that's all for this video this video was meant to provide you a quick walkthrough on how to set up a fee onto your laptop and start using the framework so I think you guys enjoyed the video do leave your comments and feedbacks on this email address or even in the YouTube or uh, security tube comment section that's all um, that's all for this video thanks a lot for watching guys